Now, what do you make of what we have discussed, Michael? Well, good morning. Well, uh, obviously, I have a very long history with the BBC, and I've not always thought that the management was brilliant, but I'm slightly dismayed today by the attacks on BBC management. I mean, I think the BBC management does understand that there's something fundamental and very important at stake here, which is that if we pay a licence fee, which is essentially a tax, and you, we, you can be carted off to court if you don't pay it, then there are some obligations that follow from that, because everyone is forced to pay it. Therefore, the BBC really does need to be impartial. I mean, that is an important principle. And Gary Lineker does represent the BBC, whether he wishes to or not. And I think he's been very inflexible. I think he's been very inconsiderate. I don't think he's he is considering the impact that he is having on the beloved BBC. Because actually, the people who will absolutely relish this row that Lineker has caused, in my view, are the, uh, the right of the uh, Conservative Party, the people who don't like the BBC at all, because this is really calling into question the survival of the licence fee. And Lineker is res responsible for that question being so much in focus this morning. But it's interesting, isn't it, Michael? I mean, I was always intrigued by your view because you have had to be quite careful. You've done programmes on rail and other things for the BBC, and yet at the same time, you are a former, very senior Tory. So you have to toe that line, and it can be tricky. Clearly, Linnick has come unstuck here, but it's all of his own careerist making, you could argue. Yeah, I, I've been employed by the BBC for many years to give my opinion, and I've been asked to do that because I used to be a politician. Uh, and I think, in giving my opinion, I have to be reasonably polite. I mean, it's obviously it's no good at all if I don't have a political opinion, because that's what I'm employed to give. On the other hand, I don't think I have to use abusive language about people that I don't agree with. And let's face it, um, you know, Lineker's language was pretty abusive. And he's not there because he's had a long history in politics. He's there because he's had a long history in football. So I do think that he is showing a lack of consideration to the BBC, which has got the BBC now into a very important pickle. And if the BBC simply, uh, there are hints today they're going to give way, but if they simply give way to Lineker, then they will no longer be able to claim that they are an impartial organisation. I have to say they've given up on impartiality. As soon as the BBC gives up on impartiality, the licence fee becomes untenable.